fraud isn't real. As left-wing media pundits incessantly pontificate about election integrity while simultaneously advocating for non-citizen voting, they fervently allege that voter fraud isn't real or that it rarely ever occurs. This is false. First of all, anyone seriously concerned about the vulnerabilities in our election system should be less concerned with Russian trolls Let's sow some discord. and more concerned that there are 3.5 million more people registered to vote than are living and eligible to vote. The Washington Post put out an article only three weeks after the 2016 election, in which the editors must have forgotten that almost all cases of voter fraud aren't prosecuted until at least six months to over three years after they occur. However, upon cursory research that took less than an hour, we found dozens of additional cases, excluding the ones cited by the Post. In fact, the Heritage Foundation has tracked and tallied over 1,000 proven cases of voter fraud across the country. It's worth noting that these are still only just a sample of all the voter fraud cases, and that most voter fraud cases are not even prosecuted, meaning that the majority of actual voter fraud offenses never get reported. Now let's turn our focus to just one state, North Carolina. Even the Huffington Post, despite putting a sympathetic spin on the story, reported that 20 immigrants were charged with illegally voting in the 2016 election. Maybe they should have implemented voter ID. Oh, that's right. They did try. And in the summer of 2016, leading up to the presidential election, the Fourth Circuit Court struck down North Carolina's election law that included voter ID. In hindsight, I bet they wish they had passed the voter ID law, because in response to a flurry of voter fraud allegations, the North Carolina State Board of Elections was asked to conduct a post-election audit report. What did they find? Well, as you can see from Appendix 5, taken directly from the report, on Election Day, less than 40% of registered voters were Democrat. However, 54% of voter irregularities were Democrat votes. Wait a second. Slow down there, Snowflake. 326 out of 508 voter irregularities is not 54%, it's 64%. Yes, our auditors apparently need to be audited, thus proving once again that government sucks at literally everything. Thank God for Judicial Watch. You had up to 100,000 illegal aliens or aliens registered to vote, and that's in one state. And when you look at the numbers from this study, you extrapolate them, for instance, to 2016, I'd estimate about 1.2 million aliens voted in the presidential elections, 80% of which tend to vote Democrats. The masters of meddling.